Okay, I figured a video was the best way to show this. Um, see up here where the this has compass and uh, time on it. I don't know exactly what yours has, but range till empty is one of the things that can be there. So these four arrows right here, you can see if I press, let me move back a little bit, if I press down, you can see that moving up there. Now I'm gonna get this close. So if I'm pushing that down, I'm going through the different things here, and I get to this one right here with the three little, looks like circles, it's the, basically it represents the three parts of the dash. It's the, it's the setup, press OK to enter screen setup, right? So then I press this OK button right here, and then it goes to this. So upper right, so if I scroll through this using the up and down arrows, I go through the different areas that I can adjust. Now see, upper right is set to time right now. Maybe I want to leave my compass there, so upper left is set to compass. I don't want to change that one, so I go to upper right. Let's see, I want to change that one. So I hit the right arrow, on this on here and you see it moves it over to this other list and now I can cycle through here and decide what I want and if you see that one is range range till empty there's average fuel economy current fuel economy trip odometer a trip odometer B trailer trip uh, trailer brake gain nothing uh, compass, but I've already got that. Outside temperature, I actually have over here on the radio along with time, right? So I want to go down to range. Once I get to range, I want to come back over here and press the OK button. And that saves it. And now I want to press the left button to get from this menu back over to here. So I press the left button, gets me there. And now when I go up and down, I'm moving this again so I can move back to my speedometer and leave my digital speedometer there. And that's it.